Where would you ladies now find good men? <laughs> the finance. <laughs> oh, you say, what do you say? Finance sector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She goes straight for the money there. No, fair, 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 fair. Not outside. You don't find love. But in where you. would you generally know. find a good man? We don't. I mean, we're I still mean, looking. Yeah, they gotta come to me. I can't go find you tell it. Tell me. What kind of guys do you like? Guys with stability. I'm going to say something else, uh, stability. Maturity. Um, yeah, niggas that can communicate. That can communicate. Communication mm. is the big thing. Um, but you said where? I mean, that pay attention, yeah. that are attentive and listen. Have you ever been on a bad date? Yes. <laughs> How was a bad date for you? What happened? Oh my gosh, he like started shuffling for his... <laughs> shuffling? Oh for, like, we were going to eat and it was like, okay. And he was asking like... <laughs> Like, you know, what you got? I'm like, I'm, I'm ordering or whatever. And then, like, when it was time to pay, he was like, oh. <laughs> oh, no. And You're I'm like, crazy. oh. And yeah, I just ended up paying for my meal, and I, we didn't talk again. So. so you pay for your own meal, that's, that's, yeah. and he paid for his? I, I fucking hope so. I don't know. I love Oh, so you just bounced? Yeah, yeah I, was that, I was that eating. Do you think you're a toxic guy? Um... Right now, as I've had a few beers, yes, but like, like to the girls, I'm not like I'll treat them very, very good. But um, right now, I'm a bit drunk. So, do you think he's a toxic guy? No, he's not. He's super chill. You super chill? Yeah. Do you think like tonight, if he asked you, can I hit you? Let him hit. I knew lesbian. Mm, like no. tonight, if you if you had a few more drinks and he said, listen, I want you tonight, would you say yes to him? Yeah. <laughs> Like a buddy. Surely. Hey, you're, you're the man. You're... Listen, it's all you, bro. So I'm just, I'm just helping <laughs> your brother out, innit? Yeah, thank so you. So, what you. kind of guys do you normally go for when you're dating? Same. Um, well, let her say what she wants. I got like pale skin, green eyes, and I don't know, blonde hair. <laughs> From New Zealand, maybe. Bro, she's on you hard, mate. Fuck, she's she's got a hard on you, bro. She's describing me right now. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, so, so basically, there's no problem tonight. You're gonna basically and clap her cheeks tonight, you. Oh uh, well, I, 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 it's funny because she's in the same room at the hostel too. Well, yeah. Happy day. You could just share the bed then. Um, we'll, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But hey, I'm a, I'm a loyal man. I'm a loyal man. I may loyal to who? I don't know yet. I don't know. Yet. Hey, we'll find out. We'll find oh, out. We're loyal to you, bro. Come well, on. Yeah, we'll find out. Do you think you're toxic? I'm not. I'm totally sure. Like, I'm so open. Like, you can be with whatever you want. If you wanted to kiss a girl, I want to kiss a girl too. Oh, but so, hey, hey, let's have a three way. You kiss yeah. a girl, I kiss a girl, another girl to kiss you. Surely. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Well, thank you, bro, because she's on me now. Yeah, yeah, so blessed, but don't worry. Uh -huh. What's the most romantic thing your ex ever did for you? I cannot answer that. You can cannot... answer that. <laughs> Why not? I don't have an ex. Never had an ex? Ever? Ever. Never had a girl? Nope. Damn, bro. Yeah. I feel your pain right there. That's okay. What are you saying? Aww. Yeah, uh... it is a very odd moment, but I hear that, man. We'll get you a girl one day, but don't worry. Shall I get you a girl tonight? <laughs> it's okay. Want to help you tonight? I'm not really looking at the moment. I'll, listen, don't mind looking. I'll just pull your buddy tonight yeah, if you want. Yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> You're getting I'll, I'll, use my, I'll, use my ex, I'll use my accent as the charm and then just kind of just... <laughs> Where are you from? UK. UK? Yeah. Nice. What's the it'll, most romantic thing your ex did for you? I'm asking you first, miss. Come on, answer the question. Come on. <laughs> Good enough. Um, she's playing with the wrong person. She's yeah, playing yeah. with the wrong person. Yeah. Come on. She's playing the universe. He was really good with like the small details. You know, he remembered like the birthdays and mm. the anniversaries and like the little details about me. You know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how long? How long ago was this? This is like probably like two years ago. Yeah. So a guy that good who remembers so many small details. Why did he break up with you? Um, I broke it off with him. Oh really? Oh, Damn, yeah. how you doing that to the brother, man? I know, he was such a great person. I'm but not, but not great person. enough, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then why'd you break up with him then? Um, I think we were just different people. Like, we just didn't fit for each other, you know? Okay. Yeah. Was that your conclusion? Or was that his conclusion? <laughs> <laughs> it was my conclusion. I was very sad. So it wasn't yeah. mutual, though, was it? <laughs> you I, broke his heart, innit? Yeah, it was a long time ago. And now yeah. he's out. And now he's out now, clapping so many girls' he's, cheeks. He's, now, doing, isn't he's it? doing great. Yeah. I, I hope good things for are him. You, are you spying on him? Uh, we follow each other on Instagram. Oh, is it keep? Oh, look at her keeping yeah. tubs on the brother. Know, keeping yeah. tubs, innit? Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I bet if you got another girl, he might be like, Hey, how you doing? 
Maybe. He did hit me up like a few months ago. A lot of guys say that women here in, in LA are quite yeah. high maintenance. They're like, they ask a lot for, I mean, in terms of money and stuff, innit? Yeah. So how, would, how would you for yourself as yeah. a guy find a good woman in LA then? Um, how would I? Like, yeah. how, or how do I? Um, but how would you find a good woman that doesn't care like, about the money and stuff? Like I said, like honestly, like meeting someone in person, like a uh, natural connection, I feel like is the best. Mm. Um, there's a lot of cool places to go out around here where you don't even have to spend a whole lot of money. And I feel like if you're kind of balling on a budget, that's the places to hang out. Like Davy Wayne's is really cool. All right. Always a cool band playing. Um, people, like, but yeah, pretty much like you said, you said it kind of yourself. I didn't want to like say it. High no, maintenance no, no, is a no, good way to put right, it though, right. but they put it out there like that. Like, if you want to hang out with me, here's the requirements. And I'm from North Carolina, like that's, it's just a different ball game. Mm -hmm. Out there, I mean, no, it's definitely like, still take a girl on a date and like act like a gentleman. But like, out here it's like, what do you drive? Like, what do you make in a, what do you make in a year? And it's like, whoa, oh my God. You know so reality my, hits in quick, my, like. In my experience with yeah. women here, like I've never had a woman that's come up to me and said, listen, these are my expectations. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I yeah. Come, if I come correct and I come with the right vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so no, it's if, true. If you yeah. go with the correct vibe and come the correct way, yeah, I don't that's... think the right woman's gonna ask them questions to that, be fair though. That is true. But then the guys like to throw the money out. No. Like, all right, mug, come on then, you're the mug then. Come yeah, on, yeah, I think no. right. that, That's where I meant like um, organic connections, like mm. meeting someone. I felt that's always gone great. Like mm. hang, then we go and hang out or you know what I mean? Like that's always worked really well out here in LA for me. Um, and I think maybe I'm just like, um, just like I don't really like dating apps in general, so I'm just kind of dogging on them a little bit. But you're right. Like honestly, if you come off like sincere, it usually all goes, it, it all goes straight. So when guys I'm approach you and, and they chat to you and stuff, trying to get to know you, yeah. where does it kind of go tips up for you? Where does it mess up? Um, when I start expressing my needs, which are, um, I don't know, like affection, communication, more communication, yeah, mainly that kind of so thing. So guys. Guys are stumbling when it comes to communication. Yeah, I mean, I'm just clearly talking to the wrong guys. Facts. So, yeah. And a lot of guys that actually can communicate. Yeah, I'm sure. But how, like, how old are you? I'm 25. Yeah, that's probably why you speak to the young brothers, isn't it? Uh, what? You speak to the young brothers, isn't it? 25 year olds. Oh, no, I'm not. Older guys can't communicate. Yeah. How old are you going? You know, not. Don't say old. 30. Not too old, yeah. Give me a number, 30, 27, 28. You know, like within my range, you know. It's, well, it's what's the range? range? I'm trying to, find out, I'm trying to uh, gauge your range. Well, you know, like, you know, in a reasonable range, yeah. yeah. You're gonna give me a number yeah. there, but all right. Yeah. What about yourselves, ladies? Hardest thing about dating for yourselves? Um, it's just no one's honest about what they want. Like they say they want to be serious, but then they don't. Like they actually don't. They lie about it, and then they just like, they're fake about it. Mm. And it's just really hard to find someone who's actually truly honest on what they want to do with the partner. Yeah. Would you rather a guy says, I just want to clap your cheeks and that's all I want to do, <laughs> than lie to you and lead you on? Than lie to you and lead you on? But that's just not what I'm looking for. Like, if yeah, that's but what the they looking want, part is obsolete. There, I'm just gonna say rather him being honest and saying that's what I want. Then you can choose. I would prefer that. Like, just let me know if that's what you want. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a partner. I'm looking. I date to marry. Okay. Like, I'm not looking for like uh, the friends with benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's just not what I want. I was dating like for you. It, it, it's it's tough. You feel me? I feel like females got their expectations uh, too high. You know, like they stand it. Just like is is out the way you know like certain things like all right check box one two and three but sometimes you know the expectation is not too realistic I, so I what expectations do they have for you then i think they just have this fantasy like you know you got to have a million dollars like you know you got to drive the ferrari okay. <laughs> you know you got to have all the gold chains on and stuff like that so i think it's just that you know um it's not realistic you know it's not book smart you know knowledge you know what what he knows or what he could provide or or show me that it makes me a better person you know have you ever had a toxic ex bro a toxic expert toxic ex oh yeah 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 share, yeah. A, story share a story then share a share yeah. share a story about a toxic ex then <clears throat> anything that comes to mind all right i say a chick from like 10 years ago we was dating for like five years and like off and on we we couldn't get it right you know what i'm saying because we we kept playing around like when I get it together, that's when she want to go cheat. Okay. And then I guess when she get it together, that's when I go do my thing. Cause, right. cause she was mixing my mind up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Cause I'm like, do you want to be with me or not? But you know, y'all really couldn't break away cause y'all connected. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it was just like a back and forth to finally like that fifth year it was like, it was too much. 
So, so you break off with her, she break off with you, or? Well, I just moved on. I just said, fuck it. Five years is crazy, though. Yeah, I said, fuck That's it. That's a long time, man. Yeah, because cause you be trying to think something. You be trying to make it work. work. That's you know the problem. That like everybody that. be trying to make it work. Everybody like, I'm trying to make it work. If you got to try and make it work, it's not It's not. For, it's not. It. Just Let me say this. If they just a fuck buddy, they just a fuck buddy. That was your last partner toxic? Yes, true. But it was a reflection of me. Because like I said, I could always blame somebody else, but I have to look at the inner self, right? Certain things that I do might have somebody else respond to negative things that I do because I haven't worked on myself. Okay. Childhood trauma, you know, uh, drama that I experienced in my life. So when you work on yourself and you learn how to love self, then you build a better person who you should be. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. So I, I would blame her for do certain things, but I couldn't blame her. I could blame myself because she can't give me nothing that I don't accept. All right, I hear that. What is yeah. the hardest thing about dating nowadays for you? Ooh, it's, it's the standards, bro. It's, I feel like a walking digit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If I don't provide certain things for a woman, then I'm, I'm not considered attractive. That you don't get to my mindset, you don't get to my personality, you don't get to my views on life or anything of that nature. It's more so of a, everything is just, it's surface level. You know what I'm saying? You just care about bank account first. Right, you. right. And that's not a problem because, again, well, I'm from the South, you know what I'm saying? We naturally provide for our women. So it's it's not a problem, quote unquote. It's a problem when that's your only intent. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if I don't have this, then I don't even want to talk to you type shit. If I'm not pulling up in a lamb, I don't want to talk to you type shit. It's like. You know, you know, yeah. some girls would get with a clapped up brother who's got so much money type shit rather than you who's probably got, not got as much money type shit but a better man mentally and physically and it's, you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. they'd go for that brother because he's got the money because he can provide but they're not gonna, not they're, not gonna, they're gonna, not, not gonna have a, a pleasant soul for that you know what I'm saying like, get me even then it's not even provide it's short term mm. when you get to know somebody and you, and you fuck with somebody I can cuss on it okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah when you fuck with somebody it's like I'm gonna make sure you good for the rest of your life you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's not just I'm gonna give you a penny and that's it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna give you some money and that's it. I'm not gonna yeah. give you ten thousand. That's gonna last four months in fucking LA. I'm gonna make sure your life. I'm gonna make sure your life straight. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure your credit straight, your household is straight. How you doing mentally? Mm -hmm. It's more than just what you can provide for me physically. You know what I'm saying? I hear that. I hear that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a black man out here, bro. It's hard for a nigga. So like, nigga wanna want somebody I can relate to and I can talk to type shit. Yeah, you know what I get that. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had in the past a toxic partner? I'm God. Yeah, yeah. All right, tell me about a toxic partner you had then. The most toxic that you ever had then. That comes to mind. So you got someone, huh? <laughs> I do, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, put it, yeah. put it in a nutshell. I'll put it in a nutshell. Um, control, man. Control. It's like... You try to control you. Can try to control me and, and limit my being. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I'm in a relationship, it's not... I don't want to control you. I want, you're an individual, I'm an individual, and we flourish together. So what does she, what she do to control you then? What kind of things was she doing? Man, just simple shit, everyday shit, like, I can't even give you a perfect example because it's the smallest shit just to put that authority over me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's, I'm not, I'm a butterfly, you can't put did me you, in this Did you ever call her out on it? Yeah. Like, yo, what are you doing, man? Yeah, for sure, but it's, it's narcissism in return, you know? It's, did you, did you, it's gas like did she, no, yeah. did she not acknowledge it? Huh, you can't, it's like, bro, it's... Yo, them knock girls here, yo, yeah, they be crazy. Yeah, bro, you can't, it's like, you can give somebody a mirror, but they ain't gonna look at that motherfucker. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I feel like, that, they I feel only that. gonna see what they wanna see. Do you ever think a guy could get out of the friend zone? Can get out the friend zone? Yeah. Yes. How would a guy get out of the friend zone? Yeah. How, <laughs> how, friend. how old did he get out of the friend zone then? He stayed consistent. Like, he didn't switch up. Like, he was just always there helping me out. Like, when I had problems with him, he'd be like, oh, don't worry about it. He'd be like, don't trip, don't trip. You're going to be all right. As soon as I broke up with him, he was like, it's all right. You're going to be all right. You're going to find something new. We had some drinks and then he became more than friend zone. <laughs> But why did you put a guy in the friends in the first place then? Because I was trying to make it work. I, I no, 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 I mean like in general, why me, do why do women put guys in friend zones? Like what 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 what, what guys, do you what do guys do? Some guys are weird. Like they do things that make you like okay, you're more like little brother. Like okay, so I gotta treat you like my friend. Okay. They do little brother things. So that's why. What could it's a more what could a guy person. do? Uh, make him look like a like a little brother, let's say. Then you know what? Now you're in the friend zone, now, boy. I play too much. Don't play too much. Don't think everything is funny. He sometimes be serious. 
guys play too much. Like, don't pull my hair, and you know, I got a piece on. Like, that's not funny. Like, yeah, that's great. Why would you Yo, do that? That's wild. <laughs> like, you <laughs> kind of think that. it's cute, but I'm really irritated and embarrassed right now. I don't yeah, know yeah. if I should slap you or run. So, yeah, like, don't do stuff like that. Lose, be more sensitive. Be a little sensitive. That's all you need. Be a little sensitive. Have you ever been in the friend zone? Oh, this is oh, no. hell yeah. No. <laughs> uh, how'd you get out of it? Uh, what did you get out of it? See, I, I growed as a person and now I've never been in the friend zone. Ever again? Ever. So, go, don't put you in the friend zone. Nah. I, That's a big statement, bro, you know. No, it is. I'm I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. If, if I want to make it work, I'll make it work. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a man about mine. If the other woman don't want to make it work, that means she don't like me. I know when a woman, now I know the difference between if a woman like me and when she don't. You know what I'm saying? So for the instead, of letting, that, yeah. instead of letting somebody play with your head like that, you got to cut it off. Even if she fine or all that, you got to cut it off from the jump so nobody won't play with you like that. That's so, the for, so for the lads out there, the guys out there, how do you know when a girl likes you or doesn't like you? In, in, in a case of 10 easy, seconds, 10 easy, seconds. How easy, you know? it's about a, like the text message. If she ain't all on you, she don't like you. Straight up. It's by the it's hug. Facts. It's facts. It's the hug. It's the hug Whatever too, hug but it, but it, but it, but If she don't give I'm, you a full body and she yeah. turn her body or she. Yeah. Side hug. It's, yeah. yeah I, You're a friend. I, yeah, I, <laughs> no, no, yeah. side hug I get though. Side hug I get. I definitely understand the, the signs. You should let you feel her bosom, yeah. She's on to you basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you know you know it. You'll know it. If you got with a woman, yeah. Right. And she had a child. Yeah. Yeah. And you got with her. Uh -huh. Are you looking after the child as well? Yeah, that's a fact. Okay. Yeah, because if I'm going, if I'm going to be in her life, I'm going to be in his life too. Or her see, life I can't too. do that, you know. You can't. Why not? Because it's not my child. I, I mean, that's next month's child. So yeah, next right. month, next month, gotta look after the brother. But you get me? It's God's child at the end of the day. You feel me? I'm a Christian. It's God's child. You feel but me? I can't look after another brother's child. That's a fact. Because like, yo, bro, you ain't stepping up to the plate. Why that's am I? That's a fact. Yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah. But I ain't trying to do that. And I believe what goes around comes around. And I believe in bloodlines. Oh right, exactly. Bloodlines. Yeah, right. so if it's not my bloodline, right. like if I live in the 17th century, that's a best fact. believe yeah, right. man ain't there. My blood yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm cool with people doing it. Right. I just can't do it. Based on my bloodline. Yeah. It's got to be my child. But then I wouldn't entertain it in the first place. Right. right. See what I'm saying? If a girl's got a partner, a girl's got a kid, uh -huh. I'm like, darling, have a good day. Right. I don't mind coming out clapping your cheeks. But I'm off. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm like I'm not trying to be long term thing. You get me? You wanna jump in? Come here, jump in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was asking my guy here. Yeah. I asked. I asked my guy here if he got with a girl and she had a son or a daughter. Are you helping to raise that? Hell yeah. If you're staying with That's her. Yeah. Hell yeah. How old's the son? How old's yeah, the son? That is a I good mean, question. I mean, bro, like it's just. How old? He Does it matter? If he's 16, he better do his own thing, you know what I'm saying? Cause, cause he's about three or four then. No, yeah, yeah. You treat them like you're my own. If, as long as I get that welfare check, if I get a little something from it. As long as I can put if I can like file out the taxes. As long as I can file on right? taxes, right. I and, I said, and I said to my guy, I can't do that. I can't look after the next man's child. Yeah. It's not my blood. Where's the dad at? Huh? Where's the dad at? He's around somewhere. Nah, screw him. That, does the dad have something to do hey. with him or the dad's like a deadbeat dude? Just hey. Don't, hey. I'm he's, me, he's, got, he's, he's got, he's got, he's got a dad. With up, all due respect. I treat him like he's my own. Even if he was in the With all due respect, right. fuck that kid. You feel me? Keep it real. I feel you, I feel you. Alright, right. see now he says Give us one more question. Fuck that kid. Give us one more. Yeah, fuck that kid. Fuck the kids. Fuck the kids. Last time you dated a guy, how was it? It wasn't great. It was. Give me more than that, come on. Cause it's never great. I think it was the opposite. I think he wanted too much for me and I couldn't. Oh really? Couldn't you wanted really, too much? Yeah. So what did he say to you? Like, what did he outline to you what I want in the relationship? I think it was just too much all at once. Like I like to take things slow and I feel like he was ready to like... Marry you? Move in with me. I was like, I'm not ready for that. Okay, moving in's a bit mad. That's a big jump. You didn't say that, but I could read it in the signs. <laughs> how, did you, how did you read that without him saying it? It was just too much for me. Like, he wanted to talk all the time, see me all the time, and you, I need my space. So. Do you think Do you think if a guy tries to keep messaging me all the time, and tries to talk to your time, he's, he's needy? Honestly, yes. it just depends on the attachment style. Like, my my attachment style is I'm, a, oh my god, what is it called? I'm anxious. anxious. I'm anxious, and the guy I was talking to, he's uh, avoided. Okay. So that's why we didn't mix up well. Because I need that, like, constant reassurance, and he, like, needed his space. Okay, okay. So that's why. But that's why I'm just, right now, I'm just working 
on myself trying to fix my body. Attack and stuff. I mean, my um, uh, anxious. anxious. Thank you so much. Am I anxious? Self improvement. Yeah, I'm trying to be secure. I'm trying to have a secure attack and style. Do you guys want a good woman though? Yeah, yeah. Eventually, but right now. Okay, when you say eventually, how far, how far in, in years are we talking? Oh no, I five years, ten years. I just want to find her somewhere, but right now, where I'm from, hell no. When it no. happens, it happens. That's it. That's life. Yeah, but are you going to bring that vibe that I'm trying to settle down, or are you just trying to clap cheeks? That's my thing, you get me? They don't, like, it's it's a mutual vibe. Everybody got to bring in their own vibe. Okay. You know, Have so you guys ever in the past had a toxic partner, though? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right, share a story with me, then. <laughs> Before you go. Man. Shit, a few of uh, Let me think, let me think. How many you got? He's got a lot. He's got a lot. <laughs> this guy's this going, guy. going through his, going for his brain right, all right now. All this right. guy has a lot, man. All right, so it's this one girl that I was with, bro. She she <laughs> she think we always together. She think we together, mm. but she know we're not together. Like either we'll go out and then we be eating, and I'll see something with a girl, and then she'll be tweak out because I see a girl. But she like I, I honestly tell her that we're not together, and she mm. know that. But uh, one time I go to the club. And at the club, bro, it's like three girls that I know, you know, that I've been with type shit, you know, been there. <laughs> and okay. so I see her at the club, so I'm talking to her. But then I go see this other girl. Then she come over there and slap me oh, and shit. fucking walk out. Like, what the fuck? Like, but she I mean, but territorial, huh? Type shit. But I, she knew we was never going to, you know, do that. Did you go for a tall woman? Oh, yeah. How What's taller that? than you? Oh, man, I, I, I'll climb that tree, to be honest. <laughs> You know what? A, a lot, a lot of girls they say they always want a taller guy, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So mm. very rarely do you see a girl taller than the guy. I see it sometimes. You know, sometimes you gotta look at it like maybe genetics wise. Like I want my child to be like you know, like tall. NBA so player. I'd go for a tall woman too. You know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And she's the right girl. You know, I don't care, you know, care how tall she is. I'll, I'll go for it, man. Right, fair. I'm gonna be the dominant one, though. don't get me wrong, but you know. No, no, fair. I mean, what about she wants to check you in the bedroom, though? <laughs> However? What about she wants to check you in the bedroom? What about them? Take me, oh uh, man, it's gonna be a fight, man. That's <laughs> whoever wins the battle, you feel me? Uh, when you American and you overseas, you a foreign, bro. So bro, I bring, listen, I bring that shit bro, listen, you gonna be every brother by accent. Tired shit, tired shit. You could be a four out of ten. A four out of ten. No, no, I'm not saying you are. No, 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 I'm not saying you. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying you could be shit, a four out of ten. Oh, there you take your accent with you, you might be a 7-8. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, sure, you, I'm sure you're a 7-8 plus, come yeah? On, come on, come on. Right, woman, I mean, you get I mean, me? I mean, she'll tell you that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not your girl, excuse me. No, 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 no it's crack on, crack on. Even if it's my girl, she, she, can, she can appreciate brother that's looking fly, you get me? You feel me? Beautiful people, by the way.